Hey everybody, it is Natalie from Power Moon Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Today's reading is called Shake It Like a Salt Shaker. And we're gonna find out what your person's thoughts and feelings are at this time. This is a timeless reading and feel free to watch multiple piles if you feel so inclined. We're gonna go ahead and get into it today. And for those of you that would like to check out the extended reading, there will be an 18 plus extended reading after your reading. So you can find a link to my Vimeo channel below if you're interested in that. And also if you are interested in a personal reading, you can always book one with me too. Thank you so much for being here today. And let's go ahead and get into it. For pile number one, we have the apple. For those of you that are into pile number one, you'll choose the apple. For pile number two, we have the pear. And for pile number three, we have the grapes, okay? So take a deep breath, relax your shoulders, relax your neck, be easy. Think about what am I feeling today? Am I feeling the apple? Am I feeling the pear? Am I feeling the grapes? Just close your eyes and take a deep breath. And what do you see first, okay? What do you picture first? So let's go ahead and get into the readings today. There'll be timestamps in the description box below, and you're always welcome to watch more than one pile. It's storming a bit here today. So if you guys hear some thunder, maybe it will just add to the overall ambiance of the reading, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Pile number one, welcome to your reading. You chose the apple, and today's reading is called Shake It Like a Salt Shaker, and we're gonna find out what your person's thoughts and feelings are for you right now. If you know what that song title is from, or what artist sang that song back in, I think it was the early to mid 2000s. If you know what I'm talking about, you can drop a comment below but it just seemed like a fun reading to do. So let's go ahead and find out. And for those of you that would like to um, follow me to the 18 plus extended reading, there'll be a link to my Vimeo channel below. So let's go ahead and get into it and see if there's any channeled messages coming up. Okay, spirits like disco ball, okay? So maybe some of you are going to a celebration or going to a party, or you watched a movie with a disco ball in it, or you're just needing more uplifting, funky, fun, good times in your life, okay? Um, Spirit's also talking to me like about overalls and people that like to wear overalls as like a fashion statement, or maybe you used to wear them a lot when you were younger, but I know some people like to do that, you know, messy hair and a bun, artist look with the flannel underneath with the overalls. I, I'm sure some of you could make that look really cute. Um, and fall season is coming up, but you won't find me in that. I've tried to wear overalls before and they always look dumb on me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what else for pile number one. What else for pile number one? Okay, Spirit is telling me something about crystal blue. Crystal blue, okay? So that could be in my eyes really itching right now. My left eye is itching a lot. Pile number one, but something about crystal blue, all right? And that could be a reference to somebody's nickname. Somebody could be named Crystal. Someone's favorite color could be blue, but Crystal Blue. Crystal Blue, okay? Or they could be talking about Crystal Blue Waters or going on a vacation or a cruise or something like that. Maybe some of you are needing to have more fun in your daily life. Let's see, anything else for pile number one? Okay, Spirit's talking to me about a shopping list. So maybe some of you are working on a shopping list as well at this time or you just recently did. Let's see, anything else for pile number one? <laughs> I just heard that song, Aruba, Jamaica, Ooh, I Wanna Take You. Um, do you guys know that song from back in the day? It's Take You Down to Kokomo. I think that's the Beach Boys, right? Aruba, Jamaica, so maybe some of you want to plan a vacation or it's your dream to go on a vacation there, but with a lover or someone you love someday, okay? So let's go ahead. I also feel like this person that you're thinking of could be wanting to relax with you or wanting to enjoy some time away with you where there's like, you know, we don't have to keep track of time 
and we don't have to work the next day. It's just, you know, having fun and enjoying each other's company. So let's go ahead and see. Shake it like a salt shaker. Let's see, when it comes to file number one, what, are, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get three of them for you guys, and then we're gonna get into the pile of cards here, okay? We have the nine of wands on the bottom of the deck, so somebody really, truly is, you know, getting kind of tired <laughs> of holding down the fort, okay? Maybe some of you in your life have been hoard holding down the fort lately, and you've been feeling pretty tired, okay? And um, I think that resonates in the collective in general, this poor fellow on the bottom here of the deck. Also, your person can feel like they've been working really, really hard too, and um, you know, and that they need a break as well. And I feel like some of you may have a person who likes to be outdoors or who likes to go outside um, or somebody who grew up spending a lot of time outside. I'm also seeing the initial B and the initial V here, okay? And I'm feeling like I'm kind of, like I'm seeing the word Clint or light here, okay? So anyway, if those names resonate with you or you know what I'm talking about, you can take it times a million, all right? But I feel like your person is saying, yeah, like things have been hard, they've been working hard lately and they would like to get away too and get outdoors and get out in nature with you. So let's go ahead and see what else. We have the Herofont here. So time to relax, time to enjoy yourselves, time to travel, time to enjoy your time together, right? Because Time is ultimately all that we have at the end of the day to share with one another, okay? And so let's see what else we have here. We have the Three of Swords and we have the King of Wands, okay? So I feel like this person knows that, you know, they, they've been worrying you lately or there is something... Um, they're trying to assure you that they're okay. They're trying to assure you that they're fine. They're trying to assure you that, you know, they're, they've just been very busy and focused. I feel like we, with the Hierophant, we could have Taurus. And then with the King of Wands is represented by Sagittarius. Okay. And I feel like with the Three of Swords, they're saying, you know, don't misunderstand me. Okay. Don't misunderstand me. And um, like everything's okay on my end, but I do think they're acknowledging that they've been a pain in the ass, okay? Because maybe they've left you wondering what is going on or they've left you, um, you know, they've just, you've been concerned about them, okay? And um, the Hierophant has to do with the joining of energies as well. The Hierophant has to do with union and also perspective, right? And with the Three of Swords, it's kind of like, you know, the Three of Swords is always gonna be challenging, but it's also like in how we see things, okay? And I do feel like this person could be wondering how you see them and how you, um, how you interpret who they are or their actions, okay? And I also feel for, this is only for some of you here, okay? But I just have to tell you for some of you, and if it, you know, if you're like, no, it doesn't apply to me, then that's fine. But I just have to say that somebody here could have experienced um, a death in the family or is worried about their own mortality. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, somebody who had a recent health scare or somebody who has had a family member or somebody in their life that has had a major health scare. And I'm also seeing the initial G and H. H, G here. Could be first name, last name, middle name. Um, but, you know, I feel like this person, the King of Wands in the tarot represents fire of fire. So it's like, I want to do something. I want to do something, but I've fallen on hard times. Okay. With the Three of Swords, I feel like this person is saying, you know, because the King of Wands is a very much, um, I'm also seeing a K name like Kayla here, Kayla, okay, Camilla or Kayla or something like that, okay, um, I am seeing that too, and then um, I can see an M here too, so there can be a Michaela or a Kayla, 
okay, involved in this situation, or maybe you're worried about someone with that name, okay? And um, <laughs> huh, Spirit loves to show me so many things, okay? But anyway, I'm also seeing the word pa or fa like father, okay? So somebody could be, this person could be very worried about their father or very worried about something in their legacy or something that is going on in their world right now with the Hierophant here that is really um, serious for them and has long-term lasting um, consequences for them with the Hierophant, okay? So, you know, anytime we have a major arcana come up in a reading, it's saying that there is something major going on with this person and they could be um, I do feel like some of them, some of them could be having an issue with their parents. Okay. And I'm just saying this because, you know, I think with the nine of wands on the bottom of the deck, and maybe some of you have, are, can relate and you've had, your parent has recently had a health scare too. Okay. I mean, but I, I feel like this person is de definitely, um, trying to figure out what to do about a situation um, and a person, could be a family member or a friend or something that has really been worrying them, okay? And um, I definitely feel like someone's been weakened or someone's fell or someone's been weakened. I'm also getting someone's brother. Like this person could have a brother who is a massive pain in the ass where they always have to be the one to kind of like take care of things with the Hierophant. They always have to be the stable one. They always have to be the one to provide the solutions. They always have to be the one um, to put up the money or they have to always be the one to kind of control the situation, okay? And um, I feel like they are saying like that they're okay and everything is fine. So if some of you haven't heard from this person or communication has been sporadic, I think that's part of the reason for it. Now, it's no reason for like non-communication, all right? Because that is hurtful and it makes people worry, all right? But I also feel like this person with the King of Wands, like they're like, I really have to get this situation figured out. And I do think there is somebody that has been pissing them off and I don't think it's you, okay? And maybe some of you with the Three of Swords here have been worried or have been paranoid that it's something about you. I don't think it is. I just think that this person is used to um, like having responsibility or thinking they're the ones that need to follow through on certain things, okay? And um, so yeah, so anyway, it, I feel like they're telling you like they can't let up on certain things for even a second in their life. And um, they'd love to go shake it like a salt shaker with you, <laughs> or they'd love to go explore the crystal Caribbean blue with you, but it feels like there's some heavier pressing concerns here, but let's go ahead and see, right? There's always lessons to be learned. You guys pick the apple, and with the apple, there's always like a teaching. The Herald font definitely has to do with teaching. Um, somebody here could do teaching or be involved in teaching or training um, with what they do for work. And um, But with the Three of Swords, I feel like this person is like, I'm worried that my message isn't getting through or that, you know, somebody isn't really getting the picture. But let's go ahead and get the rest out here. Yeah, okay, exactly as I was saying. So this person is saying... I know it's been hard. I know it's been long. You're limiting yourself by saying it's wrong, okay? And this is a deck called Deepest Desires. And normally this deck is like, you know, kind of like naughty and it's like, hey, like you're sexy and your eyes and all this kind of stuff. But you can actually see here, um, like it looks like she's comforting him and holding on to him and trying to, um, you know, and, and he has a hold of her, you know, as well, and is kind of like resting against her and she is hugging him. Okay. So I do feel like you guys have been worried about this person. Um, they are just worried that there is something more challenging going on for them or worried that they're going through a difficult period. And, um, you know, I do feel like this person thinks that you're behind them and that you support them 
and they're saying, I know it's been hard. I know it's been long. You're limiting yourself by saying it's wrong, okay? Um, so for some of you here too, there may be a situation that this, because I'm seeing the skeleton in the background, I'm seeing death, okay? So for some of you too, this person may need to, I'm also getting Aries energy here. I'm seeing the Ram, okay? So for there may be, this person may need to break someone else's heart here, or they may need to end a relationship with someone else, or they may, may need to finally finish a situation, whether it's a family situation or another relationship, they need to at this time, like it has been wearing on them for a long time and they finally need to like do something about this situation and take action on it, okay? And I'm also seeing a keyboard here. So I feel like some of you are thinking about like sending this person an email or you're thinking about sending them some type of communication or just reaching out. Maybe you're thinking about texting them or reaching out here. Okay, but just to say this person's had a lot on their mind and they're saying they know it's been hard, they know it's been a long journey. And with the Hierophant and the Three of Swords, to me that just tells me there's been problems on you two coming together, okay? And with the King of Wands, I feel like this person is trying to strategize actively on what to do here. Okay, and I, I see this King of Wands is making a fist in this version. So to me, that tells me, um, well, he's actually holding on to a wand, but I didn't even notice that. He's, it looks like he's making a fist. So it looks like he is mad about something that definitely needs to change in his or her life. Okay, so excuse my references to gender there. We have claim, make it official and level up. Okay. So, you know, with the Herald font here, I feel like this person intends to do this. And the King of Wands is all about taking action. But in order to make this union happen or in order to make this happen, something else is going to have to be sacrificed, I feel like, with the Three of Swords, okay? And it could be a situation this person is trying to leave or is very unhappy in. Um, and I think this person can handle a lot and take a lot, but I do think they've reached their boiling point with the King of Wands and, you know, the two spaghetti, eating the spaghetti here, to me, this feels like kind of like that movie. Do you guys know that movie, Lady and the Tramp, where they're eating spaghetti and then they look at each other and kiss? All right. So, you know, it's like time to claim, time to level up the connection and time to make it official. And I do think they're feeling the pressure to do that with the King of Wands, okay? And we have karaoke here, singing videos and songs. So you two might have shared a lot of, you know, with the King of Wands is very creative and very fiery and passionate about what they do. So this person could do like music in their part time. They could have some musical talents, maybe you do. Maybe you and this person like to send each other videos or send each other um, like music videos or send each other songs that you really, really like. And maybe some of you, I think some of you may have gotten in a habit of doing this with this person. Like, oh, I saw this video or I saw this song or I saw this piece of art and, you know, kind of like sending it to the person. Okay. And I feel like some of you are wondering like, why has this person not sent anything to me lately? Or why have, has things gone a little bit silent? All right. Um, but let's see what else here. We have Temperance. Okay, so this is another Sagittarius card along with the King of Wands. So we do know. Um, and I feel like with the Hierophant, they're saying, I'm, I'm trying to move things along as fast as I can. But I think you know with the Three of Swords how complicated certain things are. Okay, and maybe some of you are like, no, I really don't know. Like they need to talk, communicate with me more. And, leave, and keep me more in the loop, okay? And so I do feel like this person is walking a fine line here with temperance on like pushing things, you know, because there's things that they still need to take care of in their life that haven't been fully rectified, but at the same time, they're not wanting to lose out on an opportunity with you. They're not wanting to, um, 
you know, they're not wanting to lose out on something. And I talked about the crystal blue water. And of course, you know, the temperance angel is dipping their foot in the um, crystal blue water and being out in nature, right? With all the, with all the um, greenery. And of course, temperance is barefoot, just like the nine of wands is, which is another Sagittarius card, which is actually represented by the moon and Sagittarius. And you can see the ace of wands, underneath the nine of wands and this person, you know, oh, and you guys look sexy. Look at you in your red dress. You look very, very sexy, all right? And um, this person bringing the ace of wands to you and look at you by the crystal blue water. Look at you, my stunning beauties, okay? And you know, you've been waiting and you know what? You're barefoot too. And um, I feel like this person is saying like you're beautiful and you are okay pile number one but i also feel like there's the queen of swords underneath underneath you so i feel like you guys are like you know they better hurry the f up or i better you know understand what's going on here and you can see with the ace of wands they really do want to shake it like a salt shaker with you and get passionate and wild and out of control and all of that but but, 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 you know, <laughs> a thousand, you know, times down the road, it's straight up three o'clock in your reading right now, pile number one. But, 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 Temperance says, whoa, hold your horses a little bit there. And, um, you know, I feel like this person wants to try something out with you or they would like to see how something would go. I know they feel the energy between you both. Um, and, you know, it's, it's hard to ignore, you know, there is an energy there, there is a simpatico feeling, there is a sense of fiery, you know, passion, because the temperance angel is the angel, angel of fire, okay, and the symbol on the angel's chest is a fire symbol, okay, and the king of wands is all fire, so talk about shaking it like a salt shaker, right? We have dragon here. Oh my God. And look at this dragon is breathing fire like you wouldn't believe as I just was talking about fire. And some of you may really resonate with that dragon energy. And um, this is actually from like an RPG deck that I just got because I thought, let me spice things up a little bit. But like this dragon is definitely spicing things up and it looks like this dragon is in mid flight and wanting to like land on something. Okay. And, um, it says on here, you encounter a hostile dragon. Okay. So I do feel like this person is like, you know, having a lot of energy there with the king of wands that they really, really want to get out, but they're having to keep it under control with temperance and not just like ravage you, you know, and I think it's kind of like breaking them down, to be honest, pile number one with the three of swords here. I think it's breaking them down a little bit. And I do feel like they sometimes, as much as they don't want to admit it, sometimes they may get a little bit mentally weakened. And um, some of them may be dealing with a hostile dragon as well. They may be dealing, like I said, with a brother. They may be dealing with a family member. They may be dealing with a situation that has them real ticked off that they're having to, um, you know, that they're having to deal with, okay? And I think maybe some of you remind them of the good things of life or you remind them to be calm or you remind them, you know, you remind them of the good things and the, you know, better days ahead, okay? But I do think that this person is dealing um, you know, dealing with some rough energy right now. The crystal blue water is, is, you know, is not calm. Let's put it that way. Let's see what else here. We have joy and jubilation. Yeah. So all they want to do is have fun with you, you know, with nothing on their mind. And I do feel like this person, you know, wants to make you happy and wants to make it up to you. And, um, you know, but I feel like, if they keep you waiting or they keep you kind of on the back burner, et cetera, I feel like, I feel like you smile at this person and you're shy and you're cute and you're a temptress and 
You know, it's kind of like you're acting like it's okay, but I think underneath it, some of you might be a little bit upset um, with the way that this person kind of like tiptoes in. You know, they may tiptoe in like bearing gifts or bearing fruit or, you know, telling you, oh, you know, um, <laughs> They may, come, they may come to you like, oh, you know, um, kind of singing the same old song and that type of thing and wanting to lift your spirits up. And again, you see a person here playing music. So we're talking about singing or videos or songs. So this person may want to play a song for you or, you know, send you music or something like that. But I feel like your heart is just kind of like not in it because... You may feel like it's not the right time for you to say something and so but I do because you know I can see where you're at okay like I can see it pile number one you may feel like it's not exactly the right time to say something but at the same time you guys may be getting a little bit hostile too you know if things don't start kind of like evening out here but look at you too and look at this embrace again and here she has her arms around him and she's hugging him from behind and here they are together and she they're sitting in like a seated position where she's seated on top sitting on top of him and um, he's got his arms around her lower back and she's got his head on her on his shoulder okay so let's see what this says sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred Okay, and that definitely fits with the Hierophant. As I mentioned in the beginning, the Hierophant does have to do with union. Um, its Hebrew letter is Vav, and that means nail. And of course, a nail is something that joins can join two things together or bring union um, or put two things together when you nail two things together. Okay, I also think this person is a jokester in saying like that they want to nail you, okay? But I also feel like, you know, you guys need time. I mean, the joy and the jubilations and the songs or the whatevers or the expression of like them feeling upset at other people. I mean, I think all these things are great pile number one and show that they like you or they reach out to you with like videos or songs or whatever. But I think what you're really looking for is in person touch, in person love, in-person communication, body to body, energy to energy, okay? And it's like, thank God you're finally back or thank God you're finally here. And it's like, you two don't have a care in the world. Everything is fine, okay? No one has to keep like looking at their phones or looking at the time. It's like, we can just really relax with each other, okay, um, and get sweaty together and shake it like a salt shaker together, okay. <laughs> we have here, we have Libra. Yeah, and you know what's interesting, so somebody here could be a Libra. As I mentioned, we have heavy Sagittarius energy. We also have Taurus here, um, but I feel like this person is constantly trying to like measure out their time and energy to make sure that they stay on top of everything the problem is i feel like they're dealing with a lot of incompetencies or they're dealing with people that constantly like you know they're like i should have known by now like this person doesn't really come through and it could be at work it could be with family like i said i was getting someone's parents being in trouble or sick um or somebody's brother is a really huge pain in the ass you know these types of things okay so with the Libra energy here, I feel like this person is trying to measure things and keep things fair and keep things balanced, okay? But until a situation that they have been, you know, that they've been sitting on for a while with this Hierophant energy, until they truly, um, you know, get, are gaining that willpower to finally, like, end something or to break something up or to just put down their foot until until it gets to that point I feel like there's always going to be this tension or this balancing of energy and I get that that's very frustrating to you because a with the three of swords I feel like it's out of your control and maybe some of you have dealt with lovers like this in the past as well so you know it adds insult to injury type of a thing and 
I feel like you guys are also saying, look, I don't, I am not like, you know, a demanding person. I'm not, I understand other people's situations in life. I'm very compassionate, but I'm also not going to always like subject myself to the short end of the stick. Do you know what I'm saying? Pile number one. And I'm doing this a lot with my hands because I feel like you guys are also trying to weigh out like what's going on in this situation and weigh out the good with the bad. Okay. And, um, I do feel like this person would like to level it up and make it official and claim you and, you know, like celebrate it and have a good time. And they'd like to, she looks like she's dancing here. They would like to see you shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> But um, at the end of the day, I think you just want to be close to them and they just want to be close to you. But with this Libra energy and Sagittarius, it's like, how patient can we really be and how much can we really take? Because at the end of the day, things do need to be fair. Okay. So I, and you know, with this apple here too, I feel like you guys are like, okay, did I like learn my lessons from the past already? Because um, the Three of Swords is represented by Saturn and Libra. Saturn is exalted in Libra, but as we know, the Three of Swords is very challenging because it shows us exactly where we have been, you know, agents of our own suffering for quite a long time. Do you know what I'm saying? So there is something about keeping things healthy, keeping things on the right path, and um, like not going overboard and continuing to be fair with each other and with yourself, okay? So, you know, this person is also learning a major lesson about something in their life too, pile number one. And I think you guys are very um, compassionate, intuitive, and also rational. So I think you can see why that is. It's just like, but just because you can see why it is doesn't mean that you don't deserve um, to have your day in the sun. Do you know what I'm saying, pile number one? So we have Venus and we have love, okay? So the goddess of love and beauty, and we have Libra here, which of course, Venus is the ruler of Libra, and Venus is in domicile in Libra. Venus is very comfortable being in Libra. So I do think you and this person, like you have the, and look at the blue waters there. Look at the stormy blue waters. And then I talked about the crystal clear, calm waters, okay? And, um, you know, I feel like there is something left hanging in the balance between you two. And I do think this person feels very, like, comforted and comforting and safe and chill and nice and good when they're with you. Okay, and you too, probably. You too as well, pile number one, okay? But, um, you know, I feel like you guys are evenly matched. You're evenly yoked. Um, there is potential here for a, an amazing love bond. However, this, uh, not however, but just, but in addition, there is some, you know, circumstances surrounding this. Um, emotions are running deep and there are situations surrounding this situation that are making it difficult to, you know, to maybe function at its peak, at its peak level. Okay. And for some of you, you may see some, um, Libra season is upon us. We are in Virgo right now. So some of you may see like in Libra season, things are going to clear up a bit more or things are going to become more clear hopefully. All right. We also have the moon with Libra here. Moon in Libra in the tarot is represented by the two of swords. So it's this sense of inaction and I'm not quite sure what to do about this situation. So I feel like I'm just going to wait and see at this time because it, it, if it is indeed love, I don't want to mess it up. And I feel you and this person can both be in that mind frame, okay? So pile number one, that is what I am getting for you, my darlings. And for those of you that would like to take it to the 18 plus extended reading and really shake it like a salt shaker, you can certainly follow me to my Vimeo channel and there'll be a link in the description box below. Thank you so much, pile number one, and take care. Let's move on to pile number two, okay. Let's go ahead and do it. 
Pile number two, welcome to your reading. You chose the pair, and today's reading is called Shake It Like a Salt Shaker, and we are gonna go ahead and see what your person's thoughts and feelings are today. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you get it, and also for those of you that would like to join me on my Vimeo channel, we'll be having an 18 plus extended reading, and the link to that is in my description box below. So let's go ahead and shake it, pile number two. We're gonna get some channeled messages first and then we'll go right into your reading, okay? <sighs> Deep breath. I just heard fire engine red, okay? So maybe someone's thinking of dyeing their hair or just colored their hair. I always, when I was in my 30s, I always colored my hair like bright red and I loved it. So good for you if you guys do that or if you have red hair, good for you. And um, you don't have to spend all that money at the salon, but. Let's go ahead and see what else here for my pile number twos. Okay, pile number two. I feel like some of you are either updating your look, um, you're having some type of glow up, or you're starting to feel good about yourselves, okay? Or you're just in a period of feeling fine as hell, all right? And Venus is in Leo right now, so maybe some of you have Venus in Leo, or you're just you know, you're feeling good, all right? And, um, or you're going to be, maybe it's been a minute and you're gonna be feeling fresh, you know, when you look in the mirror and you're just like, I look fresh today, okay? So, so let's go ahead and see what I like that for you guys. And I feel like you guys are, I'm seeing somebody who has like really cute socks or has really interesting socks or footwear, okay? I'm also seeing a guy that wears cute socks and maybe you commented on this person and said, oh my God, your socks are so cute or something like that, okay? Because I am also seeing a guy who is wearing like cute socks or dress socks or something like that, okay? Or something unusual or interesting. So I'm also seeing somebody who is like a sexy nerd, all right? And, um, also, Spirit is showing me, this is very specific, but is showing me um, an African-American fellow who is wearing like wire, wim wire rimmed glasses, okay? And a little bit of a Point Dexter type of a feel to it. But this person I feel like has a nice big wide smile and, um, and they have a really nice atmosphere about them where they have a very nice... Um, way that they relate to people, okay? And I feel like some of you are meeting people that are like refreshing or you're going to be, they're like less rude or they're less, you know, petty. They're just like more relaxed and comfortable in their skin, right? And that happens when we feel more comfortable in our skin, other people feel more comfortable, we can all be ourselves, you know what I mean? I'm okay, you're okay, that whole, <laughs> That whole thing, all right, pile number two. So I feel like, you know, I feel like some of you are gonna be getting into a deep conversation with someone where you two just talk for a while. Maybe you meet for coffee or maybe you're on the phone or you just end up talking to someone for a while. I'm also seeing somebody in a library. Somebody could work in a library or go to the library a lot. Um, but anyway, I just, I feel you guys getting into some engaging conversations, like maybe going out with someone and sitting on the couch and talking for a while, all right? You guys are like, well, I'd have to get out of my funk first, Natalie, four of cups, okay? And maybe this person doesn't seem that approachable at first, or maybe you don't seem that approachable at first. So if you guys are with the four of cups, if you are like desiring to meet someone, or you're just feeling like you're not your best on a certain day. Like, you know, if somebody does try to approach you or strike up a conversation, don't immediately shrink back. Okay, pile number one or pile number two. So I'm just getting that here as well. And it may depend on your mood and it may depend on the day based on how you're feeling, okay? Um, and someone here could have, this is a moon and cancer card, so somebody here could have cancer in their chart, but um, you know, I do feel like, I feel like this person has, um, has maybe is a little more introverted or has a tendency to keep things to themselves. But I also feel like you have a way of bringing things out of this person 
that they actually do open up to you, which is very interesting, okay? And I am getting somebody who has Aquarius in their chart or somebody who is like, you know, has a lot of air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I'm particularly getting an Aquarius um, who likes to wear purple a lot and whose name starts with a D, okay? So I just have to tell you guys what I'm getting, but let's go ahead and get into it. If you know what I'm saying, pile number two, let's go ahead and see what are, what are these, what is this person's thoughts and feelings here as it relates to my pile number twos, please. What are, okay. They want these three. Let's go ahead on these three. Then we have the nine of cups. Wow. A lot of nines. Wow. Nine, nine. I was going to say if we have the nine of pentacles. All right. So, you know, I feel like with the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck, it's like, wow, you know, like there's a bit of moodiness here, though, you know, they're with the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. It's like we're having a good time or we're talking and then all of a sudden someone kind of shuts down a little bit. OK, but I do feel like this person um, genuinely does enjoy your company they may just be a little bit moody at times or a little introverted at times okay or socializing may take a lot out of this person with the nine of cups and nine of wands um, but they genuinely do like spending time with you with the four of wands and ten of cups on the bottom of the deck okay so we haven't even looked at the cards let yet but let's go ahead and see okay there's the nine of pentacles and i just mentioned the two nines and if another nine of card if the nine of pentacles came up that would be crazy <laughs> so here's the nine of pentacles coming up which is all about synchronicities one after another after another that you really can't deny okay and i talked about you guys like really looking fresh and looking good and the Nine of Pentacles definitely doesn't look cheap. You know, she's she's real put together and um, she knows what she's doing, you know. She's a lady, as that song, you know, <laughs> goes from back in the day, okay? So some of you, 999 coming out here too for my life path number nines. We have the King of Pentacles. Wow, I'm rolling with her. That's what the... <laughs> King of Pentacles is like, damn, baby, you know, and the King of Pentacles can be a bit of a snob, all right, because the King of Pentacles um, picks up the last decan of Leo and the first two decans of Virgo. So there is that Leo energy that's mixed in with that Virgo energy where you've got somebody who's maybe a little bit more reserved about things, um, but also somebody who um, you know, is a bit more, you know, could be, have a little bit of a stuck up side to them too, in the sense that they don't just talk to anyone. Okay. Or they don't just chill with anyone, or they don't just spend their time with anyone, because I feel like this person is saying that their time is important and, um, that they don't like their time wasted by people. Okay. And, um, I do think that this person's very smart. They could be very smart and career oriented. They could be quite mature for their age, depending on, you know, what their age is, or they could have like a very mature mindset. Okay. And this King of Pentacles is looking at the Nine of Pentacles and is like, I'm rolling with you. All right. And you know, all that Nine of Pentacles needs is one more pentacle and it makes a perfect 10, you know, and the King has the other pentacle. So I feel like this, you know, what's that song? I like the way you work it. No diggity, no doubt. Baby, you're a perfect 10. Can I get in? I want to get down. Okay. Do you guys remember that song? I just remembering that baby, you're a perfect 10. I want to get in. I want to get down. I like the way you work it. Okay. So interesting energy. Ooh, the queen of wands. So this person um, normally I feel like has a habit of going for bitches or has a habit of going for people um, or, or just going for people that um, are very, not bitches. I'm going to take that back, pile number two, okay? You're like, wait a second, bitches? But anyway, I feel like this person has a habit of going after extroverted people or, you know, but I feel like it's never really 
a match for them. And actually, if you guys think that you need to be like very flashy or extravagant, or you think you always kind of have to look your best around this person, I feel like what they actually appreciate is somebody who knows who they are, somebody who has good hygiene, somebody who's very smart and can talk a lot about a lot of topics, somebody who's very goal oriented, somebody who does take pride in themselves, but isn't, you know, flaky or immature or somebody who's not very, um, like, you know, there's some people, I feel like this person doesn't really like airheads or they don't really like, you know, um, like superficial people, but I do feel like this person has high standards. So I feel like they have dated superficial people in the past, pile number two, but I, I don't think that's ever really turned out for them. And I can see with this four of cups, they're not really wanting um, that same thing. They're wanting somebody who's more like salt of the earth, but also pretty. But uh, like this person, I, I'm going off on this pile number two because I feel like this person could have pretty high expectations, okay? And they can look at the way um, their mother and father interacted and how they were, okay? And some of them could have had a mother that was like, you know, a father that worked really hard, but their mother was like very demanding um, and demanded perfection, this type of thing. Um, or they could have had, you know, a father that was always working all the time and gone, and then a mother who would always, um, maybe who was a bit stern and cold, but also like encouraged this person and, and wanted them to be confident and involved in a lot of things, okay? So I feel like this person has had people in their life like trying to control them, like girl, other girlfriends or boyfriends, whatever they're into, who kind of been controlling or have tried to control them. And I think they're looking for someone who's independent, okay? So the reason why I'm going through all this stuff here and somebody who's not superficial, someone who's independent, someone who's, you know, like, um, you know, not completely frivolous with their money, like somebody that knows how to save and be responsible, okay? Um, but also, but I also feel like this person, um, sometimes gets attracted to people that are like opposite to them. And the queen of wands could be Leo. I am getting that Leo energy. I mentioned Aquarius earlier, but she actually represents an Aries in the tarot. Okay. And, um, yeah, I also feel like pile number two, don't be so humble. Okay. For those of you, um, <laughs> you know, like. I feel like some of you have been, um, I mean, I feel you guys have your standards too, but I feel like you've been working on that for a long time. Do you know what I'm saying? And maybe it didn't always feel that way. Um, and sometimes it feels like the people that are like more outgoing or more whatever that are more pushy get the best guy or the best, best girl. Do you know what I'm saying, pile number two? So I am... But I feel like, again, you and this person bond a lot. You have a lot to talk over. Some of you may like be interested in investing. You may be interested in talking about crypto is a weird thing I'm also getting here. Um, some of you may. And the thing is, though, pile number two, I feel you have a serious side to you, but I also feel like you have a wild side to you, too. Or maybe, you know, you do have a hidden wild side to you. The King of Pentacles could definitely be throwing dollar bills, you know, while the Queen of Wands is shaking it like a salt shaker. But <laughs> but the Nine of Pentacles is like, mm-mm, uh-uh, you know? And maybe some of you did that when you guys were younger or something, but, and no judgments. I am definitely, I'm just reading the energy. It's like, read the room, right? Pile number two. So <laughs> I feel like you guys know how to read the room and you know what to do and you know how to read the room, okay? And this person is attracted to perfection. You know what I'm saying, pile number two? And they may have quite high standards and they might turn quite a few people down with the four of cups. Um, and they may get stubborn at times, all right? Um, I hope this person isn't like a big time mama's boy or mama's girl or something like that, but 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. I, personally, for me, that's a no, but I like people that are independent too as well. But I mean, maybe you guys like that. We'll see. We'll see what's going on here, okay? So let's get into it. Way different energy than pile number one, pile number two. So we'll see what's going on. Yeah, we have naughty or nice. And there is what I call the sexy librarian or Virgo card, okay? And she looks, she's holding a riding crop in black and a black lace number here. And she is saying naughty or nice. Okay. And I feel like the nine of pentacles is very nice. And I feel like the queen of wands is very naughty. All right. So, <laughs> so you guys could have both a naughty and a nice side within you. Um, and I am seeing the, the wire frame glasses here too. Uh, someone looks like a sexy nerd. Okay, so we're right on point with that. And if you're wondering if you're this person's type, you are pile number two. Okay, I feel like you are. And you may be wondering, like, does this person like naughty or do they like nice? I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Um, I think at first they like nice and then as time goes on, they like naughty. We have insecure and turn off the lights. Yeah, and I mentioned about like building confidence and the t taking the time to build someone's confidence over time, right? And somehow it feels like, you know, the people that are the most loud or outgoing or whatever always seem to kind of like get, get their guy or girl. And it's like, well, what about me, okay? So I also feel like this person could be coming sometimes from a place of insecurity. You know, they like to appear, and I'm not meaning it in a bad way. It depends, it's a general reading. So I need you guys to judge this person on a sliding scale of, are they just like a humble person who, who works hard and wants other people around them to rise to the occasion? Or do they really have some real insecurities? You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, the King of Pentacles can always be a little bit judgy is the way I feel a bit, okay? So, you know, it's interesting, but I do feel like insecurity could be a bit of a thing here. No one would really accuse the Queen of Wands of being insecure, but sometimes we can put on a front like we're not and underneath it, we actually are. I mean, we've all, we all have insecurities, you know? We have ban, sleeping on the couch, and kicked out, okay? So again, I do think this person in the past could have been with bitches or assholes, okay? That made them feel really insecure, that made them, that had bad tempers, that made them feel um, like they were doing something wrong, okay? And because the Four of Cups is here, it could have made them feel like, you know, I'm just... <laughs> I mean, should I just, it's almost like with the Four of Cups, should I just give up? And I feel like sometimes they're saying, because the Four of Cups is the Lord of blended pleasure. So it's like, I'm having fun or I'm experiencing pleasure with someone who's hot, but they also get pissed off at me all the time. And I get a little bit insecure about that, okay? So, or somebody's being quite moody, all right? So are you guys this way too? Do you guys demand perfection? Do you want people to be a certain way and if you don't are you like get out of my house or get out of my face or are you not like that at all are you <laughs> do you have a just a wild sexual side but normally you're just very normal or even some would say a little bit introverted too okay because I do feel like this person's been with people like that in the past that have been very like in their face or accusing them of things or like very jealous and I feel like they don't really want to deal with that anymore with the Four of Cups, okay? Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles here talking about insecurity. And this person could have some insecurities because of their background or their financial status or the environment that they came from. And um, some of them could have had like mothers that were very demanding that would you know, kick the father out multiple times, or maybe the mother was leaving the father and telling him I'm out of here and then taking them with, you know, I am kind of getting this latchkey kid energy 
um, somebody that could have been raised by a single parent at one point or somebody that grew up in difficult um, financial circumstances. But I do think it's made this person to be a fighter. And I also feel some of you could have grown up in an atmosphere like that too. And it's taken you a long time or it's maybe not the longest time, but it's taking you some real effort to, um, to make your life what it is now. And I feel like you should be very proud of yourself, pile number two, okay? That you didn't really succumb to the same fate as maybe some other people did in your family, okay? And there is something about an insecurity going on here. Maybe both of you have dealt with, um, you know, feeling insecure, all right? Also, some people's parents make them feel very insecure, like what they do is never good enough. Do you know what I'm saying? So that can have an effect on our relationships. We have here flame, flame. A powerful devil, ooh, a powerful devil becomes your enemy. It seeks your ruin and plagues your life, savoring your suffering before attempting to slay you. Okay, so this could be poverty for some people. Um, and when we talk about the devil in the tarot, we are talking about the material world and um, we're talking about shortages with the five of pentacles. We're talking about long-term shortages um, that never seem to like let up that are very, very challenging, okay? And um, talking about like, I have to work really, really hard or I have to work double hard to get to where I'm going, okay? And um, somebody here could feel like they've been plagued with bad luck or they've been plagued um, with, they've been, you know, some of you too here could have had a very, I just have to say it. And I know this is like shake it like a, a salt shaker, but I just have to say um, this person could have had narcissistic partners in the past. You could have, some of you could have had a narcissistic parent. I'm just saying it because I see it, okay? And I think you should be very proud of yourself, pile number two, to have built yourself up to where you are now. You have the ability to be a wonderful partner, to be a, a stable, loving person to someone. So I don't ever want to see you guys like demeaning yourself, okay? And, you know, the Queen of Wands has the power and the strength to, to face any enemy in a very dignified but strong manner, okay? So anybody that's trying to make an enemy of you, pile number two, good luck to them because I feel like you guys are very, very strong individuals, okay? And, um, you know, it could be just those, those insecurities that come up within ourselves, even though we've totally made a new life for ourselves. Okay. And, um, so I would just say like, there is some of this going on between you and this person. I don't mean this person's a powerful devil. I don't, I'm not getting that. What I'm seeing is both of you two coming from certain issues that may make things, a little, you know, with the Four of Cups, a little bit harder to get off the ground at times or may make people pull back a little bit at times or make people a bit insecure, emotional, or moody at times, okay? And so just realize that that is there in the background and be kind to yourselves and to each other is what I would say, okay? And we have here the lady who waits, okay? And you guys being the lady who waits, I feel like, and the Four of Cups is also waiting, you know, as well too. And I feel like you guys are waiting for the right person. And some of you in the past could have dated some really shitty people, some people that left you out on the, left you on your own, some people that abandoned you, some people that left you in a financial lurch, you know, and, and I think you guys have had your experience enough with shitty people and some of you have kicked them out of your homes or they were liars or cheaters and made you feel like you were the bad one, okay? And I don't think at this point, I don't think you guys have any problem waiting for putting yourself first and waiting for the right person um, who is very 
kind, caring, loving, supportive, okay? And I am seeing like a deer here and I feel like this person is kind of like this King of Pentacles in a positive way is like kind of like sniffing you out or kind of wanting to be a part of your world or wanting to be close to you. Um, but I can see where both of you or especially you, pile number two, um, have really wanted to be careful with at this point with the choices that you're making when it comes to love. Because you can see all the snakes in the background like tempting her and, you know, a lot of you could have dealt with that, all right? But I feel like your angels are on it. They're on top of it. They're squishing those people. And I feel like you guys won't be tempted or bothered with those energies anymore. And when I see the deer here, it reminds me of like a symbol of peace, okay? Um, and it's not that you don't want to get naughty because I feel <laughs> that you do. Um, but at the same time... Um, you don't want to be dealing with insecure people. And let me tell you, like, there's a difference between people that are just, you know, like genuinely have a few insecurities, because all of us do, versus people who actually use their insecurity as a weapon, who are extremely jealous and mean. And I've dated like someone like that in the past as well, pile number two, that was just so insecure. And um, it literally destroyed our relationship, okay? And so I know how that is. And it's something to think about, okay? And sometimes we have to shake it like a salt shaker out of a situation and kick someone to the curb and then build ourselves back up again, all right? I do see you guys having a good conversation with someone, though, you may be wondering, is this person like other people that I've stumbled across or been in my life? But I do see you having the ability to have a positive connection with somebody who is like, you know, kind, quiet, caring, supportive, these types of things. Okay. I do see that. Now we have reflection here. Okay. So it says reflection and you can see the butterfly and you can see how much you guys have been changing and growing. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best, okay? So some of you are, um, you know, in a tough moment with someone at this point and you've been feeling like, those old insecurities are coming back or you're having memories of things that happened in the past, okay? And the Four of Cups is definitely a reflection type of a card. It, it is actually where we are meant to sit and think about, like, if something feels so good and makes me so happy, why does it feel so bad? Do you know what I'm saying? The Four of Cups is the Lord of Blended Pleasure. So it really asks that question, like, with the three cups in front of the figure on the four of cups, like if things are so good and happy, why do I feel so wrong or why do I feel so off or so bad? Okay. And, um, you know, <laughs> some of you may be wondering if this person is indeed naughty or nice. Okay. And I think that they do like you, you know, I think they, they find you to be, like somebody that they would date or somebody who's of their caliber, all that type of thing, okay? And I do think this person has want has wanted to make you happy, okay? But maybe they just don't know how, all right? And um, for those of you, I just have to say, for those of you that are experiencing an ex who keeps coming back to you, who keeps trying to get after you, who keeps trying and you keep telling yourself, if we just give each other some time and space and trust in the moment and I just focus on myself and kind of wait things out, like things will get better, okay? For those of you that are in that situation, I have to say to that, absolutely not, okay? Um, for the reason being, because of this five of pentacles and this flame card, so this old flame or this old situation that keeps injuring you. And 
you know, it says a powerful devil becomes your enemy. It seeks to ruin and plague your life, savoring your suffering before attempting to leave you, basically. Okay, so if there is somebody that's been, you know, as Fergalicious would say, no, 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 don't fuck with my heart. Okay, so if there is somebody that has been doing that to you, I have to say it is a big fat no. Okay, absolutely not. Okay, <laughs> I'm just being very, very straightforward. And sometimes we think, you know, reflecting on something or waiting on something will make it better. Um, I, if this person's been really bad to you in the past pile number two, I don't agree with people treating you that way. Not now, not ever, not anything. Okay. Um, however, and I know that can be hard to hear. I know that can be really, really hard to hear. However, I think some of you are already getting past this phase with this person and you won't be tempted by losers and assholes anymore, okay? And I have to say, I'm very supportive of you in that pile number two and, you know, seeing you guys take control. Now, for those of you that are starting a dialogue with a new person, I'm talking new, new friend, new person, casually meeting someone, you're not even expecting it, four of cups, um, you're not even like all gussied up or dressed up, you're just looking you know, nice, but just normal, nine of pentacles, okay? I do feel like you guys could get into a nice conversation with somebody at a coffee shop or somebody, you know, at a store or somebody that you just go out on a date with or an old friend that's nice that you catch up for with coffee. Like these types of things, I'm 100% for you doing. But going back to an old flame that you've already kicked out, I, I have to say, it is an absolute no from where I'm standing, from what I'm looking at, okay? And obviously, I can't tell you what to do. I just have to tell you what I see, all right? We have the Ankh here, and um, <laughs> your your spirit, I feel like your spirit guides are funny. They're saying, if this old person ever tried to come back into your life, we'd beat them over the head with this Ankh. But I also feel like the Ankh is saying, like, you guys have so much to live for. You're so great. You're powerful. You're wonderful. You've got a lot of life purpose um, to think about and reflect on and to work with. And, you know, you're free. You're, you're freeing yourself or you're going to be free from these old flames or these old influences that were very harmful to you, okay? At the end of the day, you shall rise, okay? Pile number two, so, and defeat anything that would want to try to stand in your way because you shine, all right? So we have here, ah, I knew it. Here is Aquarius, all right? And I kept mentioning Aquarius and I kept getting Aquarius in the color purple. And here we have it right here. And um, it says, Aquarius, I know. Okay, so as much reflection and as much self-growth that you guys have done, some of you I feel like are also self-taught at a particular skill that you're very good at, okay? And I do feel like the right person is going to know your value, your worth. I mean, whether they know it or not, you know it, but I feel like the right person already knows. You know, they already know who they are. They already know what they have to offer and they are secure within themselves and they understand their life purpose, even if they've had hardships in their life, okay? So I feel like for some of you, you're like, I know, I know, I know. I already know, Natalie. <laughs> so to that, I say cheers, okay? Because sometimes it can take a while to understand and like build ourselves back up, okay? And not every day is gonna be a five-star day with the four of cups. Some days are not gonna feel like we really wanna do anything or we may feel kind of lazy about things. However, I mean, I feel like you guys know and you're connected to the energy, the pure energy life force of you that's wanting to come out, okay? And like I said, for those of you coming out of tough situations or if you've had a very tough situation and it kept kind of rolling back into your life, I think connecting to your work and to your life purpose and reflecting on your progress is gonna take you a long way. I also feel like forming 
an intellectual bond with someone first, not based on any superficialities or any, you know, like jumping into bed right away or anything. I mean, you can do what you want, but this is just what I'm getting, okay? Because the nine of pentacles isn't really frivolous, okay? And I feel like some of you, if you haven't already met this person, you may be meeting someone who is more intellectual, someone who likes to take things a bit slower, um, somebody who's more thoughtful, somebody who's like a sexy nerd, like I said, like somebody who um, you don't have to, who isn't such a bad boy or a bad girl, someone that you don't have to like, you know, always be on guard with, okay? I do feel like some of you are gonna be meeting a person like this if you haven't already, okay? And just take your time, take it slow, be friends, talk, okay? Get to know each other, create that mental connection, and um, then see where it goes, okay? So that is what I am getting for you, my pile number twos. Readings are always different, you know? I never know what to expect, absolutely not. That is the interesting thing about tarot. Like people think I make up a story before I come on video and do a reading. I have no idea what the energy is gonna say. I have to flow with it. So <laughs> if you're like, I didn't want to hear that. Well, you know, you did. So <laughs> uh, you know how it is, pile number two. But you always have the ability to switch off a reading too if it's becoming too much for you, okay? So take care of yourselves. Let's move. And for those of you that would like to hit the extended reading, we'll be um, doing that on my Vimeo channel and you can find the link below. Okay, let's move on to pile number three. Okay, alrighty then. Pile number three, welcome to your reading. You chose the grapes, and today's reading is called Shake It Like a Salt Shaker. If you know where that song is from or who sang that song, you can leave it in the comments below. Leave the lyrics below. Actually, maybe don't leave the lyrics because I'm sure they're not, they're probably naughty lyrics, but, <laughs> but let's go ahead and shake it. Okay, pile number three. We're gonna find out what is going on with your person, what are their thoughts and feelings, and for those of you that would like to follow me to the 18 plus extended reading, we will be going there next. And there'll be a link to my Vimeo channel below, okay? But first of all, let's channel some messages for you. All right, I'm definitely, like I'm getting somebody who is roller skating um, or what's the, not roller skating, um, but also what are the other skate things that you could use that everyone used to do anyway? Um, like sports skating or roller skating or somebody who likes to do that or likes to have like a retro night with their friends um, or maybe you love to go roller skating or go to the roller skating rink when you were younger, okay? Or maybe you have children that wanna go do that that are like super into, let's go, let's go, let's go mommy, okay? But, <laughs> but let's go ahead and see or maybe you guys just need to get wild and you need to get funky with it, pile number three. So let's see what else for my pile number threes. Okay, I feel like some of you like painting your fingernails with like glitter on them or, you know, putting your hair in a funky hairstyle. All right, and um, just having fun, you know? I mean, you're always cute with whatever you do, pile number three, so live it up and enjoy life, all right? Let's see what else here for my pile number Threes. All right, I'm seeing somebody who does something with their hands, like crocheting or like weaving, or I was gonna say underwater basket weaving, but anyway, that's an old saying. Like, you know, in college, I didn't really take useful classes. I took classes in underwater basket weaving, okay? I mean, I myself took useful classes in college. I went to business college, pile number three, but Maybe some of you took some really interesting classes or you're in a very interesting class right now. Um, I don't know why I told you that information about myself, okay? But anyway, pile number three. So for those of you that are into braiding or you're into doing some type of hobby with your hands or you do some type of crafty thing, okay? Also, Spirit is um, talking to me about hairspray. Also, there is a movie 
called Hairspray 2 um, as well. So maybe you've seen that. I think Ricky Lake is in that, isn't she? But anyway, pile number three. Let's see what else. Let's see what else for pile number three. Maybe some of you are listening to some throwback beats because Spirit is talking to me about throwback beats. All right. And um, I also just heard chinchilla chinchilla, which I think, you know, they could be pets or somebody that lives in a city with a C like Chino or I'm getting like a C name for a city in Mexico or a city in the U.S. that is has like a Mexican name or Spanish name that starts with a C. Okay, somebody could live in a city like that um, because I'm getting that name. <laughs> I'm also getting someone who is like plucking their chin hair or something, but if you're doing that pile number three, no need to write, that's me in the comments below unless you really want to. Okay, but um, let's see what else, you know? Let's see what else for pile number three, please. Let's see what else, anything else here. Okay, I feel like somebody's smoothing down like the baby hairs or smoothing down their hair um, or like taming their hair or smoothing it down. That may be why I got the hairspray too. Um, and I feel like somebody keeps moving a piece of strand like of their hair and saying, why won't this just stay in place? Okay. Maybe somebody could be putting their hair up in a bun and there's just this piece that keeps coming out. And it's like, why won't you just stay up there? You know, but anyway, pile number three, <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get into it. My darlings in pile number three. Let's do it. We're going to see what is this person, what are their thoughts and feelings right now here for my pile number threes? What are their, okay, this person's trying to be very deliberate here, but let's see. What are their thoughts and feelings? Okay, they want these three. And we've got the eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. That is a very deliberate card. I know what I'm doing and I'm doing it well, okay? Nobody does it like me because I'm simply the best, all right? So this person, this person could be a very good lover, like technically, or knows exactly what to do or is good with their hands. Pile number three, we'll get into that more in your 18 plus reading, but let's go ahead and see what the feelings are. We have the seven of pentacles. It's like, oh boy, did I say too much? Maybe I should have. It looks like this poor little, this poor little person here has their hand on their head and is like shaking their head with a question mark and wondering like, oh boy, did I, because I feel like the energy was like really good. If we go back one from the seven of pentacles, we have the six of pentacles, which is a very nice balanced energy for, you know, getting to know someone or getting it on with someone. I feel like maybe this person is wanting to ask you a question or they're wondering if they said too much or they're wondering um, if they just should have like kept things as they were, okay? Because I talked about that deliberate energy at the beginning. Um, so the Seven of Pentacles is like, oh boy, did I, um, should I just left, kind of left things as they were? But Let's go ahead and see. Oh boy, well we have the 10 of pentacles. So, I mean, you know, we all run into hiccups here and there, but the 10 of pentacles is very much, um, you know, I feel like this is a very spiritual 10 of pentacles in this deck and it almost feels like touching someone's soul in like a very real way, okay? So that's interesting, pile number three. Let's see what else we have here. We have the five of wands, okay. So the five of wands can be very testy energy. It can be definitely represent like where we were too aggressive or where we took something too far and where things were deliberately going along really well with the eight of pentacles, okay? And the knight of swords here. So this person could have said something that was out of character. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords with the tower. Um, so, you know, <laughs> and then we have the Hangman. So somebody said a little something too much that they shouldn't have said. And now they're overthinking things with the Eight of Pentacles. And now they've become a little bit shy. Okay, but I feel like, you know, with the sun you'll come out of your shell or this person will come out of their shell 
because with the Page of Cups, you two genuinely like each other. There's genuinely a feeling there, okay? So, you know, um, the Ten of Pentacles, this one, like I said, it's a very solid energy, but it also, it's a very, like, spiritual energy of, like, you know, when I see you, I, I touch the sun, or I touch a part of you, or I touch a part of of your soul, you know, and, um, that's deep. That's pretty deep pile number three. Okay. And especially with the grapes, like, you know, the 10 of pentacles is ripe for the pickings and, um, it represents the most, you know, tangible of the tangible and it's a real solid card. Okay. But we have the seven of pentacles here, which is a bit of, you know, this person, wondering if they said or did the wrong thing and with the five of wands thinking that they upset you or maybe they made the wrong move okay so um you know the ten of pentacles like i want to reach out and touch someone i want to spend time with you i want to enjoy these moments with you um, but with the seven of pentacles feeling uneasy about you know maybe how to rectify something here Okay. And I feel like this person feels like they came off more combative maybe than they wanted to. And they're like, oh boy, you know. Um, and if you guys were worried that you came off a bit combative and you've been overthinking it, I also feel like this person feels that, you know, they also came off combative. So we have this type of energy. I would say if you guys are overthinking it though, like take it down a notch. Um, I do feel like someone could have asked something about someone's work or profession or asked something um, that, you know, or asked something about someone's degree or maybe made a comment about someone's work or abilities or I'm even getting somebody that could have made a comment that someone's degree or field of study was like worthless or there's too much competition or, you know, that's not, you know, I'm getting something like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Pile number three. So, you know, this person's uneasy right now um, with the seven of pentacles. I do think they're uneasy, um, a little bit unsure, you know, um, of what move to make, not wanting to make things worse with the five of wands. Okay. Um, I think maybe at one point they might've been a little upset, but I feel like now they probably worry that they made a bad impression or something like that. Okay. Pile number three. So, um, I also feel like this person doesn't want to cause conflict or they don't want to be a source of anyone's conflict or they don't want there to be like any sort of conflict okay between you and them all right but the seven of pentacles and the tarot is the lord of unfulfilled success okay and the ten of pentacles is definitely a success card and the five of wands really says how do we get there you know what i'm saying like i want to reach out and touch you i want to reach out and touch someone i want to feel um this energy of you and i like spending time together and enjoying each other or coming together for a common purpose um, where things feel really nice and normal or good. But the five of wands really asks the question, how do we get there? Because it's like multiple people have asked for directions, but no one was really listening. And then things really got, <laughs> you know, it's like that, you know, when you're taking a road trip and you end up going down a back road and no one asked for directions and the other person said, you should really ask for directions. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, oh boy, um, I thought this was going to be good, but it ended up being more challenging. All right. So this person, the, <laughs> this person really wanting to shake it like a, a salt shaker with the 10 of pentacles and, um, enjoy those moments with you. Okay. But I also feel like you and this person may be overthinking it a lot. Pile number three. Okay. Like too much overthinking um, can create kind of a hostile energy too. So, I mean, there's also like a let bygones be bygones with the 10 of pentacles or, you know, the 10 of pentacles in this case to me is a very physical card and you can see their two hands meeting and it feels like, you know, when we touch each other, there's this amazing moment, 
but then what after? You know what I'm saying? So let's see what else is going on. Oh boy, they're saying, making love to you is unlike any other. You're the only one I want to be, my sexy lover, okay? So they really don't want to feel like what they did was wrong or some, you know, they look at you over here, looking good, looking hot, um, looking beautiful, all right? Pile number three and, um, you know, looking, looking stunning as usual. And um, somebody could have, um, I, okay, I'm just getting this pile number three. Don't yell at me in the comments and you don't have to say if it's you or not. But I am getting somebody um, that maybe had an injury on their lip or someone that had a canker sore or somebody that had a cold sore or something like that, okay? Um, I am getting something like that. So I just have to tell you, and you know, a lot of people get cold sores, but we don't need to go into the whole topic and I don't need everyone in the comments going off on that. But I just have to say, I am seeing something like that. Um, so maybe, and maybe it's like, all right, did I make a bad impression? Like what happened or this type of thing? Okay. Um, you know, or just really wondering, like, what does this person actually think of me? Okay. This person may be wondering that pile number three, or you may be wondering it. Both of you may be overthinking it and wondering. All right. But this person saying that making love to you is like any other, you're the only one I want to be my sexy lover. So it's like, it can't be that bad. You know what I'm saying? Pile number three. So let's say what else we got here. We have plain travel and adventurous in the mile high club. Okay, so somebody who really likes to drop it like it's hot, like it's hot and shake it like a salt shaker on an airplane or in public spaces or is real frisky and likes to get wild outdoors with the Ten of Pentacles. It's very, you know, much fueled by nature. Okay, um, somebody's nature. And I also feel both of you with the Ten of Pentacles could enjoy travel or adventure, or both of you are quite into exploration. I mean, traveling and adventure oftentimes takes money. You know what I'm saying? The Ten of Pentacles is useful in that case. Um, but some people can, you know, be balling on a budget. You know what I'm saying? Pile number three. Like I had a friend of mine, she used to go all over. She went to Australia. She went to all these different places and she was backpacking in her early 30s and you know it really didn't take that much money but you know I mean those of but the people that like to really live live large and luxurious you know <laughs> um I mean that's cool too right so somebody likes to travel someone likes to have fun somebody likes to live their best life I feel like here and likes to do it in unique places okay and this person could have made a suggestion about doing it somewhere or going somewhere and it's like oh boy did I say the wrong thing or did I do the wrong thing oh boy we have a three-way okay so we could have a situation here where there is you know I mean, I know all kinds of different people watch my channel. I know some people that are polyamorous watch my channel. And you know, again, don't yell at me in the comments. And some people, I'm just saying, because that's life. There's lots of people in the world. But anyway, and I know there's also some people that watch my channel that are into three ways and into threesomes. Somebody here may be very adventurous into outdoors, three ways, this type of thing. And um, somebody could have mentioned that they had a three-way, but, and with the five of wands, maybe the other person didn't necessarily appreciate it or felt like they said something wrong. I also know there are people that watch my channel where there's tension, sexual tension between you and someone else who is with someone, okay? So we could literally have, you know, some third party action coming up here or just some tension and competing priorities, okay? Because we have another person being involved here and we have some interference. So with the 10 of pentacles, I feel like you two both wanna have some fun together. You both wanna get down tonight, right? What's that song? Get down tonight and have a little whatever. Let's get down tonight. <laughs> but I feel like there's, you know, a lot of stuff going on here with the five of wands and this 
um, interference with another person. And this could have somebody feeling like, you know, is it more trouble than what it's worth? You know, and somebody else could be getting pretty upset about something too. Um, and I feel like this person is wondering how you feel about things. I don't think their like liking of you or their attractiveness to you has changed at all with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is like very enduring energy. However, um, there is awkwardness here with the seven of pentacles and there's a big, it looks like her head is made out of a question mark and she's like, oh my God, you know, and this person could be feeling that way. This is their feelings too. And, um, there is some drama here too, as well with the five of wands. All right. So also some of you could be wondering if there's another person involved. Also, this person could be wondering if you have another person involved, all right? So the five of wands shows where tempers have really ramped up and we're not really understanding each other. But you know, something that I don't see here is really like a lot of effective communication. Now, I think you two have similar goals. I think you have sev you know similar dreams. I think you have similar like styles of things that you want to do, whether it's travel, going places, doing things, you know, um, some people like to live the good life and spend their coin because, you know, you can't take any of it with you. You might as well live life and have fun and travel and do shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people like to save so they can travel and do shit later. But do you, I feel you two have similar goals. You could easily be very compatible with the Ten of Pentacles but we have some other information here or other stuff going on. So let's see what else. We have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I was just taught, saying the one thing that I wasn't seeing here was effective communication. And I was just going to make a comment about how there was no swords. But here we have the Ace of Swords. So I do think, you know, a conversation um, would clear things up here, you know. But somebody has to be the one to kind of like, you know, clear the air is what I'm getting. And this can happen when you're getting to know, know someone. It's like, we all have like stumbling blocks or it could be a situation where there's actual, you know, other people involved, okay? But with the Ace of Swords, we're talking about objectivity, honesty, and the truth, right? And just open communication would be most preferable. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I'm with the five of wands and the three way too. It's like, okay, we have all these things in common and we would have so much fun together and we could really be companions with the 10 of pentacles, but which way are we going here? What are we doing here? You know? So we need to have an ace of swords moment. We it's four one one on my clock right now. And for those of you that know what four one one means, it's an old number that you could call back in the day. Like I think it was only in the U S U S but you would call 411 and they would give you information. So it's like, we need info, like me needy the info, Ace of Wands, okay, or Ace of Swords. We have your, your Yale here, your Yale. Okay, and this looks like Medusa, okay? We got some Medusa energy with the Ace of Swords. And it's kind of this feeling of I'm on the edge and I'm gonna say something. And maybe some of you are like, well, I can be when I'm, mad at someone or when I'm, you know, I also feel you guys are very intuitive. So you have a way of sussing out information and finding out people's secrets. And um, maybe you don't always like what you see or what you hear, or what you pick up on, but I also feel like you guys would rather have the truth, okay? And this Medusa is saying, you are cursed, permanently take a minus two penalty on saving throws, okay? So, you know, maybe some of you feeling like no matter what happens, there's always some BS when it comes to my love life, Natalie, like, ugh, you know. Um, but I also feel like, you know, you're not cursed, pile number three. You're definitely not. I also feel like some of you, when, you know, you guys can be fierce, I feel like as well, when people are not honest with you. Okay. And, you know, you probably already know this about yourself. Maybe this person also knows this about you, that you can be very fierce and unyielding. 
um, when you see something, when you notice something, okay? And this person could be a little bit afraid um, with the seven of pentacles of like asking the question or of upsetting you, all right? And um, anyway, let's go ahead and see what else. There's this one meme going around and it says cursed female, like it's a painting from the 1500s and there's like two men around her, like one's going down on her, the other one's, you know, kissing her neck or something. And <laughs> the painting is called The Cursed Female. And then underneath it, it says, it looks like she's doing fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, I just had, that meme makes me laugh every time. Um, Cause she's got like two lovers and she's obviously enjoying herself, but she's being called The Cursed Female. But let's go ahead and see. We have The Warrior of Love, card number 10. Yeah, so this person, wants you to see them in a positive light. And this kind of reminds me of the Knight of Wands in the tarot, which the Knight of Wands in the tarot represents Leo. So we could have some Leo energy here. But to me, this person um, wants to come off in like a very strong way, okay? But I also feel like this person's kind of trying to control something that's a little bit out of their control, okay? And they're like, I'm trying to appear strong and in control of things here. And I want pile number three to shake it like a, a salt shaker for me. But, um, you know, and I feel like you guys are also warriors of love and you're like, well, I'd like to shake it like a salt shaker too, Natalie. But you know what? My knees hurt, my elbows hurt, my back hurts, my butt hurts, my feet hurt. You know, I don't know how anybody expects me to shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> but pile number three, you are a lot stronger than you even know. And I feel like you guys are people that do not give up, okay? Even if you're faced with hardship. And I do feel like this person wants to see things through and wants to make something happen here. But I also feel like they're kind of on... Um, a horse that they can't control, you know? They're in a situation that could easily get out of hand if they don't get their bearings, is what I'm seeing, okay? Pile number three, and um, this person wanting to, like, fight for you with the five of wands and be, have you see them as a warrior of love and all of this, okay? Um, you know, and, like, come and get you and be strong about it and all these kinds of things, but... Um, and come off as brave and charming and all these types of things. Um, but I also just feel like you guys are like, yeah, you know, <laughs> here comes another person riding on a horse with no name. Do you guys know that song from back in the day about riding on a horse with no name? Anyway, here's the card here for you guys. And this looks like she is wrapped up in the wings of the angel. And this may be the most important thing for you guys right now, is not overdoing it and not putting everything that you have into one thing, but instead, you know, it's a real four of swords moment here. And it says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Yeah, instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Yeah, and give yourself the gift of honesty with the Ace of Swords, okay? And I also feel like don't um, waste your time overthinking things because with the Ace of Swords and the Medusa head, the Medusa head has to do with the Page of Swords. I feel like you guys are actually very sharp and your intellect is very strong. However, it may be like in an overreaction, overthinking type of a pattern um, so there is a need to get control of that. And for those of you that are putting your intuitive feelers out to a situation, I think it's very important now that you pull the reins back in. Do you know what I'm saying? And this person also may be with the five of wands and seven of pentacles, like taking a step back and spending some time, you know, thinking about what happened here and what's going on. And, you know, maybe they're wanting to give you a little bit of time too, you know, and instead of like, you know, confronting the issue in a, in a way that they feel 
that would be negative, I feel like they're thinking, I'm just gonna give pile number three some time, you know? Like pile number three maybe just needs some time to like think things through, or maybe I should just give as much as I wanna be a warrior of love and go after that ass. I feel like I should take a step back right now and let pile number three kind of like sort themselves out or sort out what's going on or their feelings towards me, okay? And maybe both of you decided, um, are gonna have a conversation or did have a conversation about taking a step back, all right? Because things get very complicated with the five of wands. And some of you may feel like the situation is bringing out like your angry, retaliatory side. <laughs> and I know how that is, you know, especially when there's liars around and it's like, oh no, no, no. You know, like nobody wants to feel that way and sometimes it's just the lies that we tell us to ourselves that actually like do the most harm you know what i'm saying pile number three so uh, i know that feeling as well all right so i do feel like you know and it looks like here she's wrapped up with the angels we also have the ace of swords with archangel michael and we have the medusa head we have all of this strong you know feminine power goddess energy angelic energy that is protecting you right now. So whatever it is going on in your life, maybe it is time to take a little bit of a step back instead of taking impulsive actions. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, as soon as you take a step back, this person may be even getting more motivated to try to come towards you but I also feel like been there, done that. So maybe you guys are not, um, it's like, I kind of feel like you guys are like, you had your chance to sort of sort things out with me. But here's this thing. This is their feelings. And, you know, the reading's called Shake It Like a Salt Shaker. And I feel like their feelings are literally all over the place with the Five of Wands. If we're talking about shaking it like a salt shaker, the Five of Wands would be where we have completely over salted our dish you know our dish is covered in salt and it's not even edible at this point you know we've shaken the salt shaker a little bit too much and it's like okay time to you know and i do think there's potential with the ten of pentacles i do feel like this person is saying um look things are not in the best space right now with the seven of pentacles between you and i it doesn't mean that i don't like you warrior of love. I know we have some incredible things in common with the 10 of pentacles. I know we have a lot in common and things that put us on the same page with each other. Um, but with the five of wands, I'm going to take a step back before, um, I say something dumb here with the ace of swords and the Medusa head and really piss you off, you know, <laughs> this type of stuff, pile number three. So I do think it is important right now, maybe to, um, have some distance for yourself okay and it's not to say you can't ever come back to it or that i do think there will be a conversation with the ace of swords but hopefully it's the right timing and with the page of swords medusa head i feel like it's kind of like you know don't rush the conversation okay if you want to have that conversation we have capricorn here so Capricorn, um, somebody in this situation could be a Capricorn. I also mentioned Leo with the with this character that looks like the Knight of Wands. We also have, you know, there's some other energies here. The Five of Wands is a Leo card. Seven of Pentacles is a Taurus card. Ten of Pentacles is a Virgo card. So we've got some energies here. But most importantly with Capricorn, um... You know, Capricorn's all about having a strategy, and I do feel like this person is saying, okay, I want to get after it, and I want to go for it with this warrior of love, but with Capricorn energy here, I'm going to go ahead and take a strategic position and hold off and be a little bit more reserved until, you know, we're able to have that conversation, until we're, we're able, and some of you may have heard something too, um, like this person's telling you this, but then you heard something else is also what I'm getting here. So I would also be careful about what you say or what you hear 
and maybe overreacting on it immediately because I, I want you guys to be in the power position. You know what I'm saying, pile number three, but I also think you guys are going to be hearing some things or having some deep clarity on something that it's like, wait, what did you say? Or you may go back into your head and think about something that someone said to you that now is like making you mad. Do you know what I'm saying? Or now is like opening things up for you. All right, but with this Capricorn energy, it's about having a strategy for the long term. And it's about, you know, a certain level of emotional reserve and a certain level of like waiting, you know what I'm saying? Till when the time is right. And with this Capricorn energy, there's practicalities, okay? And I feel like Spirit's also coming through for you guys and saying there's real practicalities and business opportunities and work things for you guys to address right now. So try not to get your energy sucked into other things and, um, you know, come back to the situation when you're feeling a little more grounded, right? Because that Capricorn energy is very much about grounding and timing, okay? And um, yeah, so this person too is is kind of, you know, I think they also feel a little bit afraid of rejection and afraid that you're going to say no to them. Like they want to take action here with this warrior of love, but they're also afraid of your rejection, I honestly feel in a way too, pile number three, okay? Which may be kind of justified based on some of the things that happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you know what's funny is she kind of looks like a Medusa too. And I feel like, you know, if people screw with you too much, pile number three, they'll see a different side of pile number three come out. And I feel like you do, you guys do have a way of coming out with the upper hand in situations, all right? But also, I wouldn't let it um, completely dominate your energies. You know what I'm saying? Um, take a step back, as we say, all right? And then we have here the air element and communicating. Yeah. So again, with the Ace of Swords and the air, air element, the Ace of Swords represents the root of the powers of air. And then we literally have the air element here. So what we need is a conversation where people are straight up, where people um, know what they're going to say beforehand, where people um, have, you know, thought about like how they want to communicate something or how they want to bring something up. And I do think that there is going to be communication between you and this person that could be productive, you know, straightforward practical communication where you and this person actually are going to talk about where you're at, okay? That helps maybe ground things a bit more, okay? But, you know, with Capricorn and the air element, somebody here could be a Capricorn and then we could also have someone who's a Gemini, Libra, um, or Aquarius. I was also going to say Virgo um, and I mentioned Leo too, but I feel like, you know, there is a need to speak and there is a need to talk, but I also don't want to see communication just for the sake of communicating because I think we need a plan here. You know, it's like if we're going to communicate a business plan or something, if we're going to communicate a long-term thing that we're working on, we want to be strategic about it and not impulsive and act out of anger. Okay, so I do think there, and some of you here may be working on some business things and on some business plans and working on your own things. And I think that's a very good strategy for you right now because I think the more that you sort of release energetically, the more that this person um, is gonna wonder what you're up to. And I feel like some of you are gonna get messages like, what are you up to? Can we talk? Or, you know, like what's happening? What's shaking, you know? Shake it like a salt shaker. What's shaking, mama? That type of thing, okay? So that is what I am getting for you, my pile number threes. And for those of you that would like to join me on the extended reading, we will be having an 18 plus extended reading. And there'll be a link to my Vimeo channel below. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your readings and many blessings on your path. Take care.